was Bruce Lee, the father. Full contact. Hello, this is Joe Lewis doing your commentary. What you're about to witness here is history in the making. This fight coming up took place Long Beach, California, February 1970. This happens to be the very first full contact match ever in this entire hemisphere. The reason I say was Bruce Lee the father of full contact is because he was my instructor. He worked with me a couple years prior to this match. Unfortunately, several months just before this match, we weren't allowed to work together. I had no trainer. I had no sparring partners. So I came into this match basically all alone. I was working out at Mr. Chuck Norris's karate school. Mr. Bob Wall had given me a key. I went down there every morning at 7 o'clock to work on the heavy bag, and then I did the road work later in the afternoon. As you can see here, the match is getting on the way. Mr. Greg Baines from Northern California, I considered at that time to be the best heavyweight in the United States, if not in the entire world. You can tell his back is very broad. He had beat just about everybody. This is the first time he and I were able to get together. You see the double right hook coming up there? That was one of the moves that Mr. Bruce Lee had showed me. I try to use this move quite, quite often in my training against a heavy bag, and it proved to be a successful winning combination as you will see coming up in round number two. That's Mr. Steve Armstrong from Tacoma, Washington in the background. He's our referee at that point. We clashed a lot here. We did a lot of inside fighting. The inside fighting seemed to be to my advantage. In those days, you were able to jam up the full contact fighters' kicks, who were basically point fighters converted over into full contact, coming across with hand combinations on the inside, as you just saw there with my right hook. You see my head moving a little bit, but unfortunately in those days, a strategy wasn't that good. Bruce Lee was a principle-centered trainer. In other words, he stressed quite a number of principles, such as good, strong positioning, being able to bridge the gap fast, being explosive off that initial move, working quite a bit on mobility, which you see me moving there. Unfortunately, I didn't move quite enough, especially on the inside, for the mobility proves to serve to your advantage there I'm coming in with a sidekick and keeping your opponent from firing, hitting you on the inside, keeping him off balance. There you see Mr. Baines coming in, swing a little while. Unfortunately, he would fire one punch and his other hand would drop down. Mr. Armstrong stepping in and breaking us up. Actually, judging from the physical conditioning of both of us, you can imagine what it would be like to be in a clinch with either one of us at that particular time. The injury level here is soaring in this particular match. There he ends the first round. I go over. This is Mr. Jim Harrison from Kansas City. Currently lives in Montana. Stepping in, he was my cornerman. Mr. Harrison and I fought about six months after this match in Dallas, Texas, in the very first United States title fights in full contact. Mr. Harrison knocked out Mr. Vic Moore at that time as a middleweight, and I won the uh, first United States heavyweight championship myself, beating a Mr. Ed Daniels. Fortunately, a good friend of mine at that particular time. You note know, also in this particular match, I was wearing sneakers. Mr. Gray Baines chose to come in there wearing uh, nothing on his feet. Mr. Baines at that time was a uh, black Muslim. That was a pretty strong movement at that time. If you remember the 1970 Mexico Olympics, and he and his Muslim friends did their little orientation just prior to this match. Here at the beginning of the second round, we're squaring off, sizing each other up. I'm trying to work that forehand strike that Bruce Lee had showed me, trying to maintain the distance. Faint upstairs, come in downstairs. There seemed to look like I walked into a left hook by Mr. Greg Baines, but he wasn't really sitting down on those punches. He wasn't really getting his weight behind those techniques. There I'm working my double right hook. Again, that proved to be very successful. Bruce Lee taught me how to put substance into my techniques. As you see, the winning combination getting ready to come up. I'm stepping in. I'm going to fire a right hook downstairs as I go downstairs. Come back upstairs to the right hook. The referee stepped in front of the punch. I thought he was playing possum here at this moment. I stepped in, finish him off with the right hand. Step back. I'm jubilant here. I'm not sure if he's going to get up or not. I thought he's playing possum up there against the ropes. Unfortunately, if I'd let him go, he'd have probably fallen down anyway. He fails to get to his feet, and here I successfully win the very first full contact 
match ever, and I'm quite happy about it. I'm not quite sure, and I didn't realize at this point that history was actually being made. And those of you watching this particular match, you're seeing a first, an absolute first. This is the first time this had ever taken place. And fortunately enough, we do have it on record. That's Mr. Pat Burleson for Fort Worth, Texas, one of the early referees stepping into the ring. I received a standing ovation. You can't see the audience in the background. There's a number of people down from the Hollywood scene here. I'm going over now telling Mr. Harrison that right hook was the one that helped me win this particular victory. There, poor, unfortunate Mr. Greg Baines didn't realize where he was. Six months later, I think he was in an automobile accident and ended his career. Otherwise, we'd be hearing quite a bit about Mr. Greg Baines even to this day. Mr. Steve Armstrong stepped foot over there consoling him, telling him the fight is over. As you know, a lot of times when a person is knocked out, they keep asking over and over and over again, what happened, what happened, what happened? And regardless of how many times you tell them, hey, you got knocked out, you got knocked out, they can't seem to remember anything. Mr. Bob Wall, Chuck Norris, myself, Skipper Mullins, and Mike Stone had earlier fought on a team match. I was a little tired at the beginning of this fight. However, right now, I'm full of energy. I'm on top of the world at this point. I didn't quite realize what I was actually into. I'm going to be showing you now some of the techniques, some of the principles which Bruce Lee had showed me, which helped me to come to victory in his very first full contact match ever. 